Hello, hi students. Welcome back to our channel. This is Bhaskar Bo. We are discussing BL numbers, 10th class math, chapter 1. In our previous video, we discussed how to solve and simplify the problems regarding logarithm. Today in this video, we are going to see some important problems which are given in exercise 1.5. So let us see. The first problem is, if log of x plus y by 3 equals to 1 by 2 into log x plus log y, then find the value of x by y plus y by x. So here it is given that log of x plus y by 3 equals to half into log x plus log y. By using this, we need to find the value of x by y plus y by x. So let us see how to find this. So we have log x plus y by 3 equals to 1 by 2 into log x plus log y. Now on the right hand side, Inside the bracket, we have the sum of the logarithm of two terms that are x and y. So it seems to be in the form of product rule. So by applying product rule, we get the logarithm of product of these two numbers that is log xy. So log x plus log y can be written as log xy. So by variating it, we get log of x plus y by 3 equals to half into log xy. Now if we observe Again the right hand side part that is 1 by 2 into log xy it look like the power rule that is it look like n times of log x to the base a where n equals to 1 by 2 and x equals to xy and the base a equals to 10. So here we can apply the power rule that is log x power n to the base a equals to n times log x to the base a. So by applying it on the right hand side, we get the number 1 by 2 will become the power of xy. So we get log xy to the power 1 by 2. So now in this equation, we have two equal logarithms where the bases are 10. In these two equal logarithms, bases are equal. Therefore, the numbers must be equal. Here. On the left hand side we have the number x plus y by 3 and on the right hand side we have x y whole power 1 by 2. So therefore those are must be equal. So by taking the numbers equal we get x plus y by 3 equals to x y whole power 1 by 2. Now if we transpose the power 1 by 2 to left hand side it becomes square. So now we get x plus y by 3 whole square equals to xy. Now x plus y by 3 whole square is in the form of a by b whole power m. So using the loss of exponents we can write it as x plus y whole square by 3 square which equals to xy. Now again x plus y whole square is in the form of a plus b whole square form. So by expand it we get x square plus y square plus 2xy by 9 equals to xy. Now on transposing 9 to RHS we get x square plus y square plus 2xy equals to 9xy. Now again transpose plus 2xy to RHS we get x square plus y square equals to 9xy minus 2xy and then by simplifying it we get x square plus y square equals to 7xy. Now transpose the product xy to left hand side by transposing it we get x square plus y square by xy equals to 7. Now, now by writing x square by xy plus y square by xy equals to 7. Now on the left hand side in the first term the x is the common factor for both numerator and denominator. So by cancelling with x we get x by y and in the second term y is the common factor. So by cancelling with y, we get y by x which equals to 7. So therefore, the required value of x by y plus y by x equals to 7. Let us see one more problem. If 2.3 power x equals to 0 0.23 power y equals to 1000, then find the value of 1 by x minus 1 by y. So here we were given by 2.3 power x equals to 0 0.23 power y equals to 1000. 
so by using this we need to find the value of 1 by x minus 1 by y now let us consider 2.3 power x equals to 1000 and also take 0 0.23 power y equals to 1000 now in the both equations on the right hand side we have 1000 which can be expressed as the powers of 10 so 1000 can be written as 10 to the power 3 so by writing we get 2.3 power x equals to 10 to the power 3 and 0 0.23 power y equals to 10 to the power 3 now for these both equations let us apply log on both sides so by applying log on both sides for these two equations we get logarithm of 2.3 power x equals to logarithm of 10 to the power 3 and logarithm of 0 0.23 power y equals to logarithm of 10 to the power 3 now here in both equations all the terms are in the form of power rule of logarithm that is log x power n to the base a which equals to n times log x power a so by applying this rule we get x times log 2.3 equals to 3 times log 10 and y times log 0 0.23 equals to 3 times log 10 now here on the right hand side of these two equations we have log 10 here the base of this logarithm is 10 since it is comma logarithm so therefore log 10 to the same base 10 will become 1 so on the right hand side we can write x times log 2.3 equals to 3 into 1 and in the second equation also we can write log 10 value as 1 so we get y into log 0 0.23 equals to 3 into 1 now transpose 3 which is on the right hand side to left hand side and transpose x to right hand side so by transposing these two we get log 2.3 by 3 equals to 1 by x and in the second equation also do the same we get log 0 0.23 by 3 equals to 1 by y now we get the value of 1 by x that is equals to log 2.3 by 3 and also we get the value of 1 by y that is equals to log 0 0.23 by 3 so using these two values 1 by x and 1 by y now we can find the value of 1 by x minus 1 by y so let's find 1 by x minus 1 by y so by writing the values of 1 by x and 1 by y we get log 2.3 by 3 minus log 0 0.23 by 3 here in these two terms we have 1 by 3 as common so by taking 1 by 3 as common we get 1 by 3 into log 2.3 minus log 0 0.23 now inside the bracket we have the difference of two logarithms that is log 2.3 minus log 0 0.23 and we know that by using division rule of logarithm the difference of two logarithm can be expressed as single logarithm so by using the division rule property we can write log 2.3 minus log 0 0.23 as log 2.3 by 0 0.23 now here 2.3 by 0 0.3 by simplifying this we get 10 so therefore we can write 1 by 3 into log 10 and here log 10 it is the common logarithm so the base is 10 hence the value of log 10 is equals to 1 therefore by writing the value of log 10 as 1 we get 1 by 3 into 1 and by multiplying 1 by 3 into 1 we get 1 by 3 which is the required value of 1 by x minus 1 by y